Bam! Welcome, friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to look at a Husqvarna 350 chainsaw. The customer complaint is that the chain seems all jacked up. It doesn't want to spin decent. It makes a lot of noise. Before we get into that, I'd like to address a couple of concerns I've had in the comments section about um, slamming customer saws on the workbench. And if this was a solid bench, that would definitely be abuse. But this desktop, if you look at it close, it bounces around a lot. It's mounted in one single spot on a rail on a post with a winch hook to it. It's, it'll go all the way to the ground and lift all the way up. So if I want to put something heavy on there, I can roll it on and lift it up to working height. It bounces a lot because of that design. So if I thought for a minute I was abusing someone's saw, I wouldn't do it. But uh, that's not really a concern of mine. And if you notice in the videos here, when I do allow the audio, uh, the saw makes a lot of noise when it hits the bench, but it's, there's really not that much impact. So, on with the repair. We are trying to get the chain off of the clutch drum right now, but it just doesn't want to come off. So. Yeah, something's wrong. It's certainly jacked up, like the customer said. Uh, we verified that the uh, chain pitch was matched the uh, the bar, and I know it matches the clutch drum. But holy moly, look at how that chain is just uh, kind of jammed right into the sprocket. It won't even come off of there. So, we got the chain off. Let's look at this sprocket. You see that nice machined groove in there? It's not supposed to be there. The chain did that. Could be wear, it could have been uh, lack of oil, over tightness. A lot of times you'll see it when you run the wrong chain on the sprocket. In this case, uh, could be a combination of everything. I'm not sure yet. So we'll clean this off a little bit and take a look at the worm gear and see if if that's uh, stripped or not. So the clutch drum drives this plastic gear and then the teeth on that gear drive the oil pump. Everything looks good inside by the oil pump. There's no dirt or debris in there and the, and the threads on the worm gear look good. So I know in my mind what this repair is going to be. Uh, it seems I got some lighting issues here. Uh, before I move forward with the repair, I want to check the cylinder and make sure this is a worthwhile repair. Now, interestingly enough, this video was taken months ago, and just the other day this saw came back. The complaint was that it wouldn't idle down. Well, it turns out that a couple of the... Uh, screws that hold the cylinder down to the crankcase were loose and it had an air leak there. Not enough to score the cylinder yet. The guy caught it right away. But, you know, the guy brings this saw in here for a chain problem. Yeah, I will look in the cylinder to make sure that it's a worthwhile repair. And yes, I will address issues that just pop up. But I'm not really in the habit of just putting a wrench on every screw and making sure it's tight. If I would have done that, I would have probably found some loose screws on this cylinder. But if I do that on every repair and I'm charging extra labor to, to do these things, uh, people are going to start getting excited. You know, why did you look at that when it didn't need it? Why did you spend that extra time? So it's kind of a lose-lose situation on my end. But, I mean, I guess it is what it is. I explained to the guy that he brought it in for a clutch problem and I didn't waste any labor looking elsewhere. And he accepted that. Um, his saw is not shot. It just needs different work now. So we're going to take this starter off of here 
just to clean behind it, that's all. So the video will jump right ahead to be putting the starter back on. Yeah, it's kind of dirty underneath there, but I've seen much worse. So when you put the starter cover back on, make sure you jog the uh, pull rope a little bit and get the the clutch dogs lined up, you know, not so they're not bound on top of the pulley. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna address some of the concerns or questions I've had about the audio and the the picture in picture kind of thing here where I edit over the top of these videos. Why don't I just talk through these while I'm doing the repair? Well, first of all, I'm not the only one in the shop. I'm an employee here and there can be six guys working in the shop at once and they're all making their all their own kind of noise, you know what I mean? So it can be pretty loud in there at times and uh, you wouldn't like the way that background noise sounded. The other reason is, like I said, I'm an employee here. I'm just happy that the boss lets me hang a camera over the top of the bench and do these videos. If uh, I were to waste any time doing it that he, while I'm on the clock, um, he, if he caught me doing that, he probably would make me stop recording. So, And I don't blame him. So this is how the videos are presented. Now, if you are kind of curious as to what kind of background noise I'm talking about, then uh, I'm going to provide you a little sample here. And it's not pretty. Now, I'm not saying it's like this all the time, but uh, I can't yell across the shop, hey, quiet down, I'm recording. So that clip alone should answer the question why they're presented this way. And sometimes I got background music playing. Uh, it fills the dead spots. So let's move on with the repair. You see that I'm cleaning out the rail on the chain or on the bar, and I'm blowing the debris away from the nose sprocket. We don't need to be filling the the bearing in the nose sprocket up with debris. We'll bar this thing up, put a new chain on it. Yeah, you know, it's funny, these chains always come snaggled up, don't they? Sometimes they come apart easier than other times. Looks like that one didn't take too long to get apart. When I look at a clutch cover, or when I put one back on a saw, I always take a close look at it, inspect it, and make sure it's intact. I mean, it's one of the few safety features we actually have on these things. So that is one extra thing I might spend a minute on when I'm working on the customer saw. Every time I tension a chain, I always roll the chain on the bar. Sometimes it'll come loose and you have to retension it again. So that's a good habit to get into. Snug it up roll it, see how it feels, tension it or not. So that's all I got for you on the Husky 350 chainsaw clutch sprocket repair. Thanks for watching. Later. <laughs>